so, there are in fact 21 spheres. Right? Of development but from the 1st to the 21st. So, you know how most literature say there's only seven. Well, there's in fact another 14 spheres above that. Um, now, the reason why most people on Earth don't know about it is because most people on Earth can't connect to that kind of development in love. Does that make sense? And there's actually a 22nd sphere as well. And there's a transition that occurs between the 21st and the 22nd sphere. And that transition is this. You've got one half of the soul and the other half of the soul with their spirit forms. Right. Sorry about the rest behind you. And what happens in this transition is that the spirit bodies disappear. Sorry? Where do they go? The same way your material body disappears. It's a process of death of that body, if you like. And you recombine with your soulmate as one entity. And that happens on the 22nd sphere. That process, the spirits up there call it a soul union. It's a reuniting of the two halves of the soul. But they are now completely individualized. In other words, you are perfected in love so much, in divine love and natural love, so much that you are now at one with God and your soulmate was, before this transition occurred, at one with God and you and your soulmate came together as a complete soul form again. Now at that state, you no longer have a spirit form attached to your half of the soul. Does that make sense? And that's the only state from which you can reincarnate. And that's how reincarnation occurs. Why would you want to? Yeah. A very good question. <laughs> you notice that you are now perfected in love, so there is no karmic issues to work through. So why would you want to? To, to teach others about love. That's the only purpose. Does that make sense? Now, I'm going to really get the stretch for you, actually, and say that only seven have even done it. There's only seven souls that have ever done it. Historically. Well, seven, if it's one part of the soul gone and developed, and another part of the soul... Okay, let's say one half of the soul went up here and experienced yeah. the new birth, and the other one's down here in hell. Yeah. All right. What happens is the one that's developing constantly goes back to the one who's not developed. And this has happened, this has happened historically so many times. Um, all of you have heard of uh, Nero, the Roman em Emperor Nero from the first century? Well, he murdered his soulmate. She was a Christian and he wasn't, obviously. And he murdered her in the... She, she died by being torn apart by lions in one of the arenas that he'd created for that purpose. And she passed over in quite good condition. She passed over into the third sphere condition and she progressed very rapidly into to the celestial world. When Nero passed, he passed into the bottom areas, the real dark places of the hills. It took him a thousand years of birth time with her help to get to where she was. So she was his soulmate. She was his soulmate. But she helped him through that entire process. 